okay let's say uh, there might be a condition in which uh, or there might be a situation in which we have to send uh, multiple we have to send multiple values from one form to another form um, no doubt you can create uh, sessions as many sessions as you want but uh, that, that would be a time consuming process and uh, to avoid that just uh, there is an other efficient way of doing that just go to your project right click on it and uh, just add a new item uh, that would be the class just add a class and uh, change the name if you want to click add button <coughs> and uh, inside this class uh, just specify the or we have to specify some properties and it depends upon how many values we have to send from one form to another form uh, let's say if we have to send two values we will create two properties just type prop and press the tab button two times simultaneously and uh, it will create a property for us and change the uh, property type uh, uh, since we have to send uh, text values so type string and uh, the name of the property would be f name as the first name and we will create another property uh, that would be for the last name we'll keep it keep it as l for lost and am name and just save it now go back to your web form one and uh, inside the on click event of your web form uh, we have to type we have to create the, an object for that uh, we will create an object for that class we have created uh, right now so just type class one and you create an object c1 uh, let's say it's c1 equals to new class one and we have to specify the uh, values to the those properties that we have created inside that class that are the f name and l name so just type f name equals to and uh, we have to type the uh, value type value here that we want to access uh, uh, from some other form um, since we have to provide this value from the this text box so just type text box one dot text and uh, we also have to provide the value of uh, l name that is the last name so we will type l name <coughs> equals to and we will take that value from text box 2 so just type text box 2 dot text okay it uh, might be saying uh, you might be wondering that we have don't have any text box 2 just go to your web form 1 and uh, place another text box here and uh, check its id that is text box 2 so just type it here text box 2 dot text okay so far we have created a class and we have created a, a class and we have declared two properties inside that class first name and last name and then into our forms uh, form uh, form one uh, inside the buttons on click event we have created an object for of that class and we have specified the values that we have to provide to these uh, properties and after that uh, we have to create a session and uh, we will pass the object as a whole to that session uh, let's uh, name the session as uh, okay keep it as s1 and uh, we will pass the object of whole of that class c1 as a whole okay save it that's it uh, for the web form 1 now let's switch back to web form 2 and uh, first of all we will add another label here just copy it and paste it here that will be the level 2 save it and uh, go to the code of web form 2 now just comment that uh, uh, that line and we will have to access the uh, fields or the properties of this class into our web form 2 uh, we can do this by creating an object of that class c1 let's say it's object c equals to now here we have to uh, actually provide the session that we are using here that was session s1 so type s1 okay now you can see that it is giving us an error that is cannot implicitly convert type object to web application one dot class uh, actually the uh, this is a session and this is an object of a class c1 so we have to type cast it to class one 
and it will be okay okay now we have to uh, we have to get the values uh, of uh, the first name and last name into these labels l1 and l uh, first name and last name into label 1 and label 2 so just type label 1 dot text equals to object c dot this was the first name so just press enter okay now type label 2 dot text equals to object c dot l name that is the last name save it and uh, run it okay just type uh, some values this is the first name so I'll keep it as Ibnan and uh, second name as Kurban and click on this button and it will take us to web form 2 and here our here is our two values here are our values okay let's switch back to visual studio let me summarize the whole work what we have did is uh, we have a web form 1 and we have two text boxes and we have to send the values of these both text boxes to web form 2 where we have two labels named label 1 and label 2 we want to uh, show the values inside these labels that we will get from these text boxes so uh, simply what we have to do is we, we have to create a class we have created a class named class 1 and uh, that has two properties first name and last name and inside the uh, web form 1 buttons on click event we have typed the following code we have created an object of that class and provide values to those uh, properties first name and last name and we have uh, created a session and passed this whole object to the session and we have redirected uh, from web form 1 to web form 2 and inside web form 2 we have created a object of uh, the class again and we have uh, we have taken the value of uh, session 1 to that object by type casting it to class 1 and then we have uh, label 1 and label 2 and we have its text properties and we have set the text properties to um, th these properties uh, of that object the first name and the last name so this is how we can send multiple values from one form to another form using uh, sessions I hope you have understand what I was trying to teach you thank you for watching Allah Hafiz